I've been continuing to work out, but I had a little setback with my shoulder as always. So I've been looking up this shit, you know, the ice baths. Everybody's talking about the ice baths and all of this type of shit. And, you know, you go down the rabbit hole. Next thing you know, you're online looking at the top of the line ice bath, which is just basically a giant stupid fucking tub. And they're like, well, you know, it weighs about 40 pounds when it's empty, so it's easily maneuverable and put on its stand. Once it's full, it weighs 700 pounds. <laughs> and I'm just thinking to myself, I, I, I'm not, that's a fucking plastic container. There's no fucking way that that should be worth 1300 fucking dollars. And then I'm going to have this thing and I'm going to be really into it for about maybe, I don't know, a week or two or a month. And then I'm just going to have 700, I'm going to have 700 fucking pounds of water sitting in my goddamn garage, turning all different sorts of colors and all of that shit. So I was like, fuck this. I'm not doing that. What am I going to buy an ice bath? What are you going to do next? Buy a boat, you fucking moron? You don't do shit like that in life, people. You get to know people that own this shit. Find a friend. You got to go hot chick, right? Hot chicks get hungry just like everybody else, but they don't want to pay for meals. So what do they do? They act like they like a guy with a nice watch. And next thing you know, they're out there with the girls sort of hanging out of a loose-fitting fucking shirt. They're eating like a goddamn pig, right? The date ends with a little hug, air kiss, and a little pat-pat on the back. Go fuck yourself. Two pats, one for each blue ball. Go fuck yourself. I just ate. You got to go hot chick on the ice bath. Do not. Ask not. I don't know why I'm in this Kennedy mood here. Do not fucking, uh, don't buy one of those fucking things. So then I did the next thing. I was like, all right, it's fucking L.A. It's Hollywood. You know, this is the latest fucking craze. You know what I mean? I get my Botox. I have my enema fucking flush up my asshole. And then I go into an ice bath. And then at lunch, I like to have soup. That's one of my favorite things ever is when celebrities break down their day for me. Like I was sitting around all day going, you know, I wonder what Louis Gossett Jr. does. What, what, what time does Louis Gossett Jr.? How does he shave his head? You know, how does an Oscar nominated actor shave his head? And what if I shaved, what if I bought the same shaving equipment Louis Gossett Jr. had? Would, would I then be happy? Would I then be going up there accepting the thing that everybody wants? Um, yeah, so I looked at the next best thing, which is a place that has a fucking ice bath, right? And I'm sitting there going like, all right. So I go over there. This is better. Now I don't have to buy the thing. I can just go over and use the thing. But then you're getting into the, the fucking gross factor. You know what I mean? Like, who here is it? Who here? Like, you guys are here. Do you ever take a fucking yoga class? I mean, you want to talk about taking your life in your hands. When you walk into that fucking studio right after another class and they have not mopped up or anything, and and it's that hot yoga, it's like you're in the fucking jungles of Vietnam, right? And you can catch malaria through your bare feet in one of those fucking classes, right? You just come walking in. If you're like me with your Northern European blood and you walk into this tropical forest (laughs) where they've removed all foliage and there's just the sweat and the emaciated people, I fucking, uh, I can't deal with it. Like, there's no way to get to, like, I don't know. I guess you, uh, you, but then, then... you, you fucking put your mat down, but then your mat is, absor- and it's like rubber, so it's like absorbing how many fucking hours, how many classes of fucking plant-based burger sweat, you know, that's done God knows what. I, I, I don't, so I, you know, I stopped going to those things. So I started thinking about that ice bath thing. It's like, all right, this is 700 pounds of fucking water. That's a lot of fucking water. That's a lot of weight. And we always have a drought out here. How often are they changing that water? You know? 
I mean, am I going to get in that thing right after Lou Diamond Phillips? I, I don't think I am. I don't know why I'm just naming celebrities with three names. You know, the other night I had a, I had a cigar with Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. Um, so then I was like, all right, because my shoulder's like really talking to me, man. It's feeling inflamed. So uh, I finally was like, wait a minute. I have a bathtub. I have ice. I could fill the bathtub. I'm going <laughs> to... What the fuck is wrong? With I have the solution. So I filled the bathtub up. I didn't have to make it fucking weigh 700 pounds or whatever. It was just a bath. And instead of hot water, I just sat in cold water. I didn't do the ice yet. And I got to tell you, man, I fucking loved it. It sucked getting in, but I knew. I put my leg in and I went... And I was like, fuck it, get in, 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 get in. <laughs> I got the other leg in. Ha! All right? And then I just said, fuck it. I just sat down right up to my gingered nipples. And that's as far as I could go. And I was just going, I was just doing that, right? And there's not even any ice in it. So I'm working my way up to being comfortable with it. And, uh, but after like, you know, 20 seconds, I was fine. And then I was automatically, re- immediately regretting, why didn't I go all the way up to my neck? I got to do this again. And then I slid down up to my neck and I was, ah. But then you just sit there and you don't fucking move. And uh, I stayed in there for 10 minutes and I really enjoyed it. And uh, so I was in the bathroom, you know, obviously of our bedroom. So I say to Nia, I go, Nia, I go, come on in here. And she comes in. I go, look, this is ice cold water. I go, feel how cold this water is. I've been in here for eight minutes. And she's just looking at me. I go, feel how cold it is. And she just goes, I can see how cold it is. <laughs> she made a fucking dick joke. When I was suffering... No, I actually uh, laughed my frozen balls off for like fucking the final two minutes and she was cracking up. I love making her laugh. It's my favorite thing in the way. And she was actually, she was laughing because I was laughing. Uh, she's the best. And we were actually talking about how we haven't done a staycation in a while. My favorite thing to do. And I think we're going to go out to the uh, the dessert. I will never call it the des- desert. I will always call it the dessert in honor of Greg Giraldo. Your balls are sticking to your leg out here in the dessert.